Hey, what's up, guys? It's Alejandro here. Today we're playing Grand Theft Auto 5. So last time we left off, we did the Bureau Raid. And that's it. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to be seeing Solomon and Dave Norton. Dave Norton's going to debrief us. And uh, let's see what Solomon wants from us. Here we are. Hello, hello. Devin and Molly. Devin. What the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. Ah, and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones, don't- Still like me. movies. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Nah, I'ma go Namaste fuck Richard yourself. My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> okay, okay, the airport. So, Devin screws over Franklin and Trevor and Lamar. Now he screws over Michael, which was all part of the plan in the first place. I mean, Devin really didn't try to hide anything. I mean, it was so painfully obvious just how terrible he was. Yeah. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today? Today? Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. What's she up to? There she is. God damn it, truck. You ruined it. I did not know there was a truck there. Diesel news. Whoops. Good thing the cop didn't notice that. You, oh my god, cop, you ruined my- Oh, you bastard, you stole my glory, you asshole. I was trying to do the stun jump, and the cop did the stun jump, making me mad. Whoa. Cops are dying over this shit.
Yeah, literally. They all died. A lot of them died. Jesus. He's killing everybody now. Calling me a deranged killer? Look at this woman. She's killing everybody. I mean, not directly, but still, though. Here. I guess it's the helicopter. He wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. That's probably the only time you ever see emotion on the floor, lady. On the floor, with lady. Molly. She's always talking so professionally, hey, keeping her emotions out of everything. Stop. And this is the one time she doesn't. Oh no! Oh, stop. Look out. Oh. That is one of the most brutal moments in this game. That is just insane. Hey, got in the way, idiot. I'm not gonna get the fuck out of here with this plane. It ain't my fault. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Gotta go. Ah, oh, great. This plane is fucked. I'll be lucky if I even get away alive. Oh, it's failing. The cop fucked it up. How am I gonna be able to gain altitude with this shit? Okay, I think I might be in the clear. Usually what I do is I try to gain as much altitude as I can. And, uh... Is it altitude or at altitude? I don't know. I don't know. You guys pronounce these words in so many different ways. I don't know which one's the right way to say it. Like, is it ant or aunt? I'm, I still don't know the answer to that. Like, I hear people say aunt, and it just feels weird to say aunt. Hey, I got away with it. Uh. Alright. Calling Sullen. I loved you once, Tony. But there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and you thought he we knew it. And before they can screw us again, I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere for Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course. It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was. An American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Come on. Oh, fuck. I didn't... I was trying to softly land the plane, and then it fucking exploded. That was such an overreaction. But yeah, if you really... If you thought I knew, why didn't you, like... Why, why do you think I did all that? I mean, you're really just gonna let me go out of my way with all this shit and not even tell me about it?
Anyway, let's see if we can call Devin. Hopefully me dying doesn't interfere with that. Devin. Hey, look, I'm sorry. My legal counsel. It was an accident. I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, lawyers come and go. But you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something that I am not going to forget. Namaste. No, what happened was I made you lose a lot of money. I made you lose your opportunity to get really, really rich. Even though you're already a billion. Yeah, Evan's not happy. And all I can say is, boo boo, nobody cares. At least Michael was able to screw him up. He was able to, to screw him over back. Right after. Soon, he'll get, he'll get what he has coming to him. Here we are at the court center. with Dave. I keep forgetting to get armor. In, G like in all the other games, I make sure to get armor, but in GTA 5, I never get armor. It's not something I think about. Maybe that's just because the game's a bit easier than the other ones. You don't. You probably don't even need armor most of the time. Ah, see, Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? It's we're old school. We like old-fashioned things, like newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends. The oh, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Cut those people off your back. Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun Mexican stand up. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh. oh. Same leg he shot himself in. All right, now I gotta kill everybody. Mike, this your stairs. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. With a pistol. I switch to this gun. Actually, do I have that other one? Oh yeah. Oh, that's ULP. This is a non-canon death because he actually appears in a GTA online. Yeah, 
Haynes escaped. Oh, should we got a helicopter? And Trevor just so happens to be here. on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. It looks like there's a window. D, run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. He is oh so days. in denial. He doesn't want to admit to being corrupt. Well, actually, he did admit to being corrupt, but in a good way. Just a good person, not a bad person. Another helicopter? Oh, there's more guys. There's also another helicopter somewhere. There it is. Fucking reload times. Alright, switch to Trevor. the other helicopter. I didn't even get to blow it up yet. never get this fucker he always ble he always shoots me every chance he gets um that's so stupid um
So conversate! Not here! Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. I'm taking this one. So long. Be careful, Davy! Colorado down! Show's over, class! Another chopper! Oh. Shit! Finally, I actually got him. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get him, because it's actually really hard, because it actually, like, immediately shoots at you. Alright, now we got to go speak with Trevor real quick. Well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you yeah. alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, Listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I mean... What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history, but history, nonetheless. All right. History's history. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. The therapy session's unlocked now. I'm gonna go check something real quick. Stretch, Franklin, dog. You got to control the homie Lamar. Dude is on one. Ball is a piss. Man, ain't nobody controlling Lamar. Not me, not you. Man, you know what? Fuck the ball. Homie can get controlled, homie, but it's an irreversible process, if you feel me. Oh, you got jokes, huh, motherfucker? Man, Lamar gonna be fine, dawg. I hope he is, punk, for both y'all sakes. The next mission actually does involve Lamar. One of them. In the next episode, we'll be seeing him again. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Michael's final therapy session. That car will be mine. I lost the other one.
Well, Michael, I see you're abandoned and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just. I just want. I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad, love my family, you know, live the dream. But at the same time, I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. I want to be good, Doc, I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, it's been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is... Wait, you were treating me? The fuck I didn't know that. Okay, I thought well, you were just wasting my time with all this bullshit. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And... I'm leaving town. I already knew that. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tail. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. So, what's your problem? Well, you see, the, all right, that's all we have time for. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Don't act out. I said I wanted that car. I'm taking that car. Maybe I don't have to kill him, but I can at least steal his car. Mostly the wallet. You wanted me to listen to your problems? Now the whole country will listen to your problems. Let me take his car. Follow him with his car. He's running down the freeway, man. That guy's fucking crazy. You fucking head trigger! My lawyer says you can't prove defamation. I trusted you, you prick! Really shouldn't have Michael. Forgive me. Oh shit. This 
kind of exposure will push you to the help you need. Hey! Those ain't your secrets to sell! Stop and think about it! Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. Hey! I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! He tripped. you want to be famous everybody wants to be famous it's a primal urge the thing is i can't really kill him because he actually appears in gta online for some reason even though you're given the option to kill him the game just acts like they never gave you that option in the first place so yeah it really doesn't make sense i don't know why they brought him back if they literally gave you the option to kill him But you know what? Since it's non canon, I don't give a shit. Now, that's how you work through an issue. Give me my money back. I only killed him for the money. Anyway, um the most important lesson is um he has a nice car and I wanted it. And also, I mean, we already knew he was a terrible therapist. I mean, the guy's barely even a therapist. Oh yeah, Dave. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Yeah, I ain't helping Steve Haynes ever again. They now, now they want Trevor dead. I'm still alive in case you're wondering. Nobody home? If you, Trevor, or Franklin are driving when I'm on a bike, I'm screwed! <laughs> They're acknowledging the fact that the player is a bad driver. There's Tracy. Jimmy just left. Go on a bike ride. I thought I locked the door. Amanda, what were you doing? What is that? Amanda! You have an entire husband! Come on! Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and goodbye.